dear young people, it's an immense pleasure and an honor for me to be participating in the Kingdom Search movement and to share a few thoughts related to education. I'd like to thank the Youth Department of Nagaland Baptist Church Council for this great opportunity. I'd like to f first begin by sharing the educational journey of my father, who along with my mother established Ditso College in the year 1994, an institute where I consider myself very fortunate and blessed to be working in today. My father had very humble beginnings, born in Punchinu village to farmer parents who never really had the opportunity to receive a formal education. So naturally my father's schooling began in the village at lower primary school. And this was during the time of the Indo-Naga conflict and when insurgency was at its peak. So like many Nagas born during his time, he and his family had to hide away in the jungle for about three years. Fortunately, he was able to continue his education where he went to Kohima and completed his high school. From Kohima, he was able to reach Shillong where he completed his graduation. And then from Shillong, he moved to Delhi where he completed his post-graduation. And from there, he decided to pursue his MPhil at Jawaharlal Nehru University. After this, he went on to teach at Nehru for about five years. He then went on to secure a Fulbright scholarship from the United States India Educational Foundation, where he received the opportunity to pursue his PhD from the Southern Illinois University, Carbondale, in the USA. I'm sharing my father's educational journey with you all today, not to highlight about his life though, but to make a point that if someone from the village with socio-economic challenges could make it beyond the village to the town across India and reach the United States, then there is no reason why the younger generation, who I believe had ha have had a much stronger head start, can achieve the same or do something even greater. I do think that most of our younger generation today have had the opportunity to receive a pretty decent education. Many can even write better and speak better and have much higher levels of education than our parents or grandparents. And if we were to look at it, it is not that education is lacking anymore. To show you some stats, in 2011, the population census literacy rate in Nagaland stood at 79.55%. In 2019, as per the Nagaland University Result Gazette, we had an overall pass percentage of 72.85%. That is a total of 6,161 graduates from Nagaland. We are churning out graduates by the thousands every year. We have plenty of educated people in Nagaland. How employable are we all is another question though to consider at another time. But what we seem to be lacking more of, more than anything else, seems to be a strong value system. A strong value system where we can keep our word. A strong value system where we can choose right over wrong, no matter how strong the temptation. A value system where we can choose honesty and integrity and truth over corruption and extortion, the like that we see happening so rapidly in our state today. We definitely have education, but that same education can be used to exploit people and take advantage of the lesser privileged or the ignorant. Yet it is that same education that can also be used to change lives, create employment opportunities, start companies, write beautiful and inspiring poetry, publish books, and to do so much more good in this world. Education is an exciting tool which you can use to transform your worlds, to make the things or the world around you better. It is not just about securing ranks or getting a degree, but when you're looking at the bigger picture, education involves all of life's experiences, the relationships that you develop, the skills, whether it be in sports, art, music, or whatever talent or passion that you may have. Education can empower you to become better versions of yourselves so that you can live life more purposefully and meaningfully. Being an educator for me has been a very humbling experience. It's given me opportunities to reflect much deeper on decisions and choices that I have to take every day. So I'd like to leave you all with a quote today that I strongly do believe in. And that is, if your values are clear to you, making decisions becomes much easier. This really helps in doing the right thing 
if not all of the time, but most of the time. Once again, thank you for this opportunity, and I really do hope that you will all be inspired to use education to transform the world around you. Thank you.